This is a tutorial on how to capture motion data from a video and then clean that up and put that into engine. So using Plask AI, we can get a video, upload that on here, import, import video file, and it'll process here. Once it's done processing, it'll take a few minutes. I renamed it to handstand because that's what I recorded. Uh, this is the default mannequin. You can drop it in here. It'll take a minute. So that's the mannequin. Right now we're uh, visualizing an empty motion, but if you right click and visualize the handstand, then it should do that. There's the timeline down there. We can play it. Um, now that I'm happy with this, I could right click and export. And then I'll get an FBX. I'll go into Houdini. And this is what I've prepared here. So that's the character. And it's not going to play the animation once you uh, import uh, the using the FBX character import. The first output is uh, the, the regular character. The second is the pose. And the third is the animation. So we're going to edit the animation a little bit so that uh, the hands are not uh, sliding on the ground. And uh, it seems like uh, with the video, it captured a little bit above ground. So we'll, we'll clean that up. First off, I'll just move it down a little bit. And I want to isolate the hands. So I'll just select those two points and I'll ray them on the ground and I'll keep them on the ground on frame 300 because on frame 300 it seems like they're in a, we're on the ground so we'll just see there so about around yeah let's see. 300 there uh, they seem like they're the closest so I'll uh, keep them there for around uh, from this part to almost the end to here, to here and then I'll release it so I'll keep them here okay so they're snapped to that area and then I'll do IK chain so so that the elbow and shoulders will conform to the uh, how rigid the hands are on the ground because if I snap these and the rest is still moving it the, the hands would just uh, uh, get detached from the, the skeleton so uh, we do a quick IK uh, and we select the so the left arm you select it and uh, yeah uh, forearm and left hand so all of this here would make an IK chain and the, the, the top would follow the bottom and with that uh, we can do a skeleton blend so blend back between this pose that is moving like crazy and we blend just that part with the IK chain that we fixed the animation with so now it's blended all I have to do is animate this bias here uh, where L. it's zero before we hit the ground one when we're on the ground and back to zero when we get up uh, some rig pose uh, this is to uh, fix the rotation of the hands so you can see how we can select whichever uh, joint we need and rotate them uh, while the animation is still going so it's an extra um, motion on top uh, which also can be animated you can animate these but you can keep them static so an extra rotation on top of the current animation uh, just moving it into place and this uh, channel is to soften or smooth the motion so now it's still a bit jittery if I play it but with the motion, uh, it's, it's way less uh, jittery. You could uh, go into the shop net 
So this is this channel. It's uh, at topnet. You could go in here. You you bring in the geometry. You set it to animated. The filter. That's the effect. The the higher you go, the uh, more soft it is. But uh, you start losing some of the detail in the animation. Uh, once you're done, you can uh, uh, do bone deform, which takes the mesh, the uh, skeleton pose, uh, and then the animated uh, skeleton, and then it, you could see it playing back on the character. Uh, after that, uh, you can uh, export however you want. Uh, you can export uh, character, FBX, character, uh, let's see, uh, animation output or character output uh, or Alembic or uh, vertex animation, however you want to get it in, into engine.